G'day and welcome to Street Spec TV. In this episode, we're going to have a look at identifying early Holden V8s. few different V8 engines in their cars over the years from um, first generation small block Chevs through to the LS series engines in the later model Commodores. In this video we're only going to be looking at the mighty Iron Lion, the all Australian designed and built V8 engine that was available in 4.2 litre and 5 litre versions and was used by General Motors Holdens from the late 60s all the way through to the late 90s in one form or another. Now the first iteration of Holden's all Australian designed and built V8 engine was available from the late 60s right away through to 1980 and the Australian public immediately fell in love with it and it was affectionately nicknamed the Red Motor as the engines were painted red. The second iteration of Holden's V8, which was available in the first generation Commodores from 1980, was nicknamed the Blue Motor for obvious reasons. And the third iteration of Holden's V8 engine would then become known as the Black Motor. Now one of the first things you want to look for when you're identifying an early Holden V8 is on the side of the cylinder block between the Welsh plugs towards the rear of the engine it'll have the displacement cast into the cylinder block this of course being a 253 they would either say 308 or the later model ones would say 5.0 for the 5 litre engines so we know this is a 253 engine for starters now the next thing we want to look at is the engine number so we've determined whether it's a 253 or a 308 by the casting in the cylinder block. So then we can check the engine number and make sure it matches. Now the engine number is stamped on the passenger side of the engine on a flat surface just below the cylinder head towards the very front of the engine. It'll be two letters and a series of numbers. The engine prefix on this one is QR, which matches early series 253 engines. If it was a 308, the engine prefix would be QT. And they were used in the Holden's H series from 1971 right away through to the HZ Holden's. Now the first series Kingswoods, HTs and HGs had a 253H or a 308H engine prefix. Now if the engine was from a statesman in front of the engine prefix QR there would be an 11. So it would either say 11 QR or a, for a 253 or 11 QT if it was a 308. Now you might also find some 253 engines with a QS prefix engine number. The QR was the high compression engine the QS was the low compression engine. Now if the engine is from a light, an early model Commodore, if it's a 253, the engine prefix will be VR. If it's a 308, the engine prefix will be VT. Now the next thing you want to look at is the build date of the engine. So we can work out exactly when this engine was cast by looking at the date cast into the front of the engine just below the intake manifold. It'll be a letter and some numbers and the, what the letter is is the month, the very last number is the year and the remaining numbers are the day. Now sometimes the month will be in the middle, it'll be the Australian version, it'll be the day, month and year. Sometimes you'll see the month in some of the earlier cast engines It'll be the American style of date, which will be the month first, then the day, then the year. The very last 
number is always the year. The letter is the month and the remaining numbers are the day of the month that was cast. We can also see a little symbol which looks like a clock. So we can actually know the exact time of day that this engine was cast. We can see this one, the arrow is pointing down at 6. So we know that this engine was cast on the 21st of September 1976 at 6 o'clock. Now you have to remember that these engines, some of these engines are now over 50 years old. Um, they've had engine numbers machined off them over the years. They've been stolen and recovered. They've had engine numbers ground off. Um, so so you'll, you'll find a lot of oddball variations on these engine numbers. Um, there'll be VP numbers stamped into the, into the blocks for, for engines that have been stolen and recovered by Victoria Police. Uh, we had an engine reconditioner, a big engine reconditioning mob in Victoria back in the day that would recondition these engines. They were called RPM engines. They would actually grind off the engine number prefix and stamp RPM into the into the blocks, uh, denoting that it was one of their um, their engines. For back in the old power to weight days, when P platers could only drive certain cars, people used to turn 308s into 253s by restamping engine numbers to get around Red Joe and all that. So you're going to see a lot of oddball engine numbers in these. Now you might even come across an NR prefix engine number. This would have been a NASCAR replacement engine that was done under warranty back in the day. Now another thing to note is unlike Fords, Holden have never had matching engine and chassis numbers. Uh, there's no such thing as a matching number, Holden. Uh, they don't exist. If you're doing a um, concourse restoration on an older Holden and you need an engine for it, um, the best you can do is try and find an engine with a cast date a few weeks prior to when the actual car was built. Well, I hope this has helped someone identify their early Holden V8. So until next time, See you later.